Sub homies, <laughs> welcome back to Love Your Healing. There's some things that I've learned more recently on how to deal with perfectionism that I wanna share with you. So in today's video, I wanna talk about what perfectionism is and then give you three practical tips that you can start implementing into your own life to start healing from perfectionism. So let's get right into it. So for me, perfectionism feels a lot like overthinking and doubting myself, especially when it comes to doing anything new or anything I really don't wanna do. So to get more inspiration, pretty sure you guys also resonate with this, I start scrolling on social media. And that's always a problem because it always seems like someone else is doing whatever it is better than I am. So I always feel like I gotta step up a notch and try even harder to make what I'm doing perfect. But before I know it, I'm so paralyzed from all the thoughts going on in my head that I just procrastinate or sleep until the very last minute when I can't anymore. As I'm taking the time to do the inner work and healing this perfectionist mindset, I realize more and more that it's not necessarily that we need things done perfectly. It goes a lot deeper than that and requires a change in mindset. After doing some research, this is what I could put together to make perfectionism make more sense. If you haven't heard of Brene Brown, she's really well known for her extensive research on courage, vulnerability, shame, and empathy. In her book, Atlas of the Heart, she talks about how shame is the root cause of perfectionism. Shame is defined as the intensely painful feeling or experience of believing that we're flawed and therefore unworthy of love, belonging, and connection. Or simply put, not being good enough. With perfectionism, we likely grew up believing that we're only loved and worthy when we succeed at something. So in a lot of cases, it was being praised for getting good grades or being good at something like a hobby or having skills. With hitting each goal as we get older, we strive for more and more and more until eventually our goals become unbelievably unattainable. So that naturally leads to having a fear of failure or making mistakes. So because we can never truly meet the unrealistic standards that we set for ourselves, we're ultimately stuck in the cycle of constantly chasing perfection. So how do we break the cycle that never seems to freaking end? For me, it was really hard to cut myself off in the beginning because I was like, no, oh my God, no, I need to keep going. I, this still needs to be perfect. The overthinking and overanalyzing about what other people will think of you will definitely paralyze you in your decision making. It'll make you doubt everything. You'll take a lot longer to finish what you need to do, or it'll just make you freeze and stop you altogether. Setting a timer is going to just put a time limit on whatever you need to do. You honestly have to set a really hard boundary with yourself and cut everything off when the timer goes off. Brene Brown actually says that there's a difference between healthy striving and perfectionism, where healthy striving tends to be more internally focused, where when we're doing something, we more likely ask ourselves, how can I improve? Whereas perfectionism tends to be more externally focused, where we ask more questions like, what will they think of me? So in my mind, whenever I am spending a lot more time on doing something well, I want to see if I am doing it for my own self-improvement or if I'm doing it because of what other people might think of me. So over time, of course, it'll get easier as with anything in life because then our decisions would be more about self-improvement. Whereas before we were constantly searching for the external validation that we might not even get from being perfect. So this point talks about giving yourself space to make little mistakes, even if it's just as little as, you know, misspelling a word, not having something sit in the right spot. I'm not saying compromise everything and don't care about anything you're doing, but by making these little mistakes, we're pretty much retraining our brains to look at mistakes a different way, that mistakes are not as dangerous as we are making them out to be. By making these mistakes, slowly letting go of perfectionism and moving on with life anyway, we learn to accept that we are good enough 
the way we are right now. And I think that's a pretty good spot to be in. So do your best and move on to the next thing because if this one isn't great, you know that you can always improve on the next one. And remember, no one else really gives a shit. That takes the pressure off for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below so that this video can reach and help more people. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more practical tips on mental health and self-development. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.